Hello, I'd like to show you uh, the new interface that comes with File Manager as part of uh, Instead Plus. Um, I'll show you, uh, really, I'll start with showing you the motivation really behind why we've added a new interface to look at the uh, directory and file structure. If we have a look here at uh, Business Objects uh, MSI, just as an example, uh, we look at the directory table and you can see here that there are 1700 odd directory rows. And even with the target path and source path, uh, it's just hard to get your head around. And then you look at the file table, and you've got 40,000 odd files, and you've got to work out what what that's doing. Uh, it really becomes quite complicated. So you need and you need a, a sort of a graphical view of the layout of the installation files. So if we fire up the file manager. Just to fit it into the window. On the right here, you have your, your sort of standard view that you get with many other tools of the target folder. And this is where you would drag and drop files to add them or uh, work out what's going on, wh what files are going down on the on the target uh, machine. One of the difficulties with just seeing the target view is is uh, understanding where the files are that you need to locate if you want to change something, if you want to um, extract a file, find a file and so on. So if we, for example, look at the fonts folder, we have two directory table entries that uh, result in the, going to the fonts folder on the target machine. So we've got one just the normal MSI and one is the uh, comes from a merge module and we can look here and they actually have different source paths. As I click on them on the on the left in the source tree, you'll see <coughs> it jumps to the folder that represents that source folder. If we jump down here, we're looking at Windows fonts. So if you wanted to find the f the files that go are going into the fonts folder uh, <coughs> in the source tree, uh, then just having the target view makes that a bit difficult. Whereas having the source and and uh, target view uh, simplifies it. Now that's a reasonably simple example. If we jump up here to the common files folder, you'll see here that there are actually many, many, many different merge module representations of the common files folder. And as I scroll up and down, you can see they all have different, well, many of them have different source paths. So trying to understand that just from the table view or just from the target folder view uh, is becomes very difficult. Um, if we jump down to actually where the files are going, we can sort by file count. We can see here yeah, the files showing up. And we can see that they're all coming from the same source path up here, but this, this one, this empty merge module folder, is actually from a different source path. So you can quickly navigate your way to where the files actually live in the source path. Now that's just uh, that's really the motivation of why there's there's two views, the source and target uh, trees. Um, if I s j just switch to a simpler MSI, the, the Instead Plus MSI, and fire up the file manager, I'll show a few of the things that you can do, uh, and how uh, the file manager makes it easy to navigate and get around. Um, so we've got the source and target view as you used to. Uh, it's easy to see empty folders and folders that have files in them or, or, or the subfolders that have files in them just from the icons. Um, whenever I click on something in uh, the file manager it navigates the, the table view so you can get it straight into all the relevant information. Uh, so if I click on a file uh, on a folder I can click on the file, one of the files down here, and it, it jumps me to the file table row. And using Instead's uh, navigation and reference tracking, we can jump to the component. So it, it, it becomes quite easy to, to get to get around. Um, so if I wanted to, for example, move uh, this component and its files to the Microsoft folder, I'm looking at the component here. I can control click on the Microsoft. Uh, folder to look at its directory table entry. By control clicking it doesn't move me away from the uh, component row that I'm looking at. 
I can see the directory table entry is Microsoft, so if I jump back, I can move this to the Microsoft folder. And you'll see immediately the file manager view has updated itself. Uh, so any changes made to the table view, to the, to the tables, are automatically reflected in here. So now the uh, instead plus file and its component uh, is attached to the Microsoft folder. Now the tree views understand divergent source and target paths. That's really its reason for being. Um, so I can move the, the source path of this Microsoft folder into its parent, leave the target path still as Microsoft. And you'll see again it's updated. So now reference assemblies has the instead plus file in the source. There's two directory table entries that represent reference assemblies. And you can click around. And you'll see as I click any of these directories, it automatically navigates the other view to uh, the correct folder. So if I just move that back here for a second. Um, so that's using it to navigate and get around. Uh, one of the other things that we've added is the ability to drag and drop files. So if I bring up uh, Windows Explorer, I have here some icons that I can uh, drag onto the Microsoft folder. So if I select some of these icons, I can just drag them onto one of the folders, and I get a little uh, dialog here. Now, you get a whole lot of defaults that you can edit and alter, so I may want to decide, okay, I want to put all these files into the same component. Uh, except for one, I'll add that to the instead plus. By adding it to an already existing icon, you know that it's already existing because the little plus icon goes away, so you're not adding a new component or a new identifier or whatever. So if I click OK and try and do that, it will come up with an error. It will tell me that the I already have a component called the icons folder, uh, called icons, but it's going to a different folder to the one that I'm trying to add these files to. So it, it doesn't make sense to do what I've just done. So if I add, if I change these to icons two, click OK. It all worked out well. I can rebuild the cabs now. So I'll just click yes. Successfully rebuild the cabs. I look down here and I can see all my files have been added. And that's quite good. Now they would have got added to a new cab called instead cab by default. You can change that in that little dialogue we were last looking at. But you can also manage you can also manage the uh, cabinets in here so I can just drag these any number of these files back to the media the, the original cabinet click OK it'll ask me if you want to rebuild the cabs um, if, you, if you don't rebuild them now you can go back in jump to the media table right click as normal and rebuild the cabs so that's a little bit about file manager hopefully you'll see that it's useful for uh, professional packages who really need to know uh, what, what what an installation it consists of and how best to edit it and set it up and so on. So, thank you for listening.